I'm excited to work on a project that I've been meaning to get to for a while, but things have just gotten in the way. I am going to be taking a look at the GBB 15 board and fitting it on my Micron. The GBB board is a CAN breakout board designed for 1515 extrusion based printers like the Voron V0, as well as the 3D printers for ants like Micron, Salad Fork, and all the variants thereof. It can also be fitted to 2020 extrusion frames. The thing to be careful of there is there might be some heat issues, which we'll talk about later. On the board, you get a can in as well as a can out. There is a USB-C port, which is used for flashing, as well as putting this into a USB to can bridge mode. So for example, you could mount this on a fixed gantry printer like a V0 or Salad Fork, run power and USB to it, and then come out of the can output to go to your tool head. The board has two 2209 stepper drivers, which are capable of sensorless homing. It also has two end stop ports and two thermistor ports. There is an onboard thermistor to measure the heat of the board itself, as well as an onboard chamber thermistor. The two thermistor ports can be used if you want to monitor your AB motor temperatures. I'm going to use one of them as the chamber temperature sensor. According to the documentation, the thermistor on the board itself can read high, so I'm going to use an external thermistor. In the package, you get the GBB-15 itself. It also comes with this heat sink tape, which you sandwich in between the extrusion and the bottom of the board because there are the 2209 stepper drivers underneath and it actually uses the extrusion as an additional heat sink for those stepper drivers. So with that, I'm going to bring the Micron up and start working on adapting this over. I already have a CAN tool head board on the printer, so I will be going through this board. One thing to note if you're going to do that is this comes pre-populated with the 120 ohm termination resistor in place, so I'm going to have to remove that resistor so that I can properly terminate the can line. You only want those terminating resistors at the start and finish. So I've already got termination at the can adapter that's in the electronics bay, and I have termination at the tool head board. So to put this in between those two, I need to remove the terminator. So I'm going to pull that little surface mount resistor off and then get started on adapting my wiring. So with the printer upside down and the bottom removed, I needed to carefully prepare the AB motor wires for removal. This actually gives me a good opportunity to use the old connectors as guides for when I wire the new ones. Now I have to remove the old chamber thermistor, which I will reuse. So with that, Trimmed and punched. Want to make sure that you get the correct orientation. And hey presto, that's done.
I had to step away from the project for a little while where I left off filming previously. I had finished the physical installation. Now let's follow through and finish up with firmware and software. The first thing I did was power up the GBB-15 from the Micron's power supply while it was plugged into the USB port of my laptop. I put the board into DFU mode by holding down the boot button and hitting reset, then launched the ST programmer software. When I launched the ST programmer software, I could see that the board had already been programmed with CAN boot, which was great and obviously had the flag set for repeat DFU mode. That's discussed in the GitHub documentation. I couldn't see the board, which I figured was probably due to a bus speed mismatch. So I rebuilt the bootloader in ArcSign with the correct speed that I had already set up in my CAN system, flashed that, then built the Clipper firmware and uploaded that. Lo and behold, I had a working CAN board. Now that the firmware had the correct settings, I needed to deal with the software. So I went into Printer CFG, added the MCU information to add in the GBB-15, then went through and changed the pin assignments for the A and B motors, as well as the chamber thermistor. After a reboot, I was able to check my motor directions, which were incorrect from where I repinned the motor connections to the GBB's stepper drivers. Uh, just needed to invert the travel and the direction pin and everything was back up and running. So now I've got CAN running on the gantry of my Micron. Let's... The A and B motors are working fine. Didn't even have to change anything with my sensorless homing. Everything is good and I'm back up and running. I had fun working on this project. I hope you found it interesting and let us know if you come up with other uses for this board.